We're doing a little ice test here. You see, well, because you see that over here there's these cones, right? Right there. That means we got some open water over there. Just been having a week of really warm temperatures. I mean, I think it's deep enough over here. It's definitely over a foot. Huh? It's over a foot in this bay. I'm going to take my glove off and see how deep the ice is. Well, I gotta, I'm going to see how thick the ice is. Because I don't know how far we should go out there if that over there is blocked off. I can't even reach my hand all the way to the bottom. Well, this bay right around here is going to be fine. Yeah, there is a hole. This is some really soft ice. Yeah, but there's, like, if you feel in Over there is just because of the spring or whatever. Yeah. If you feel in that hole, the ice is actually still super hard. So we just, just tested out the ice here. Um, decent. A little bit. A little, little slushy, I'd say. Yeah. Here out here with JP and Andrew, about to maybe get some bluegill, some bass. Hopefully, that's our that's the ticket for today. Get, getting some bass. Um, we're gonna set out some tip ups with some uh, big big minnows from the Mason Lake trip. But yeah, here they are, folks. Yeah, you see that? Some minnows, the little buddies. Oh, they're not looking the best, but yeah. All right, so just cut. This hole right here has been hot lately, just really, really hot. Over there where JP is, I'll show you in a second, was where the, we were really catching them, but... Oh, right there, bites. See, Tanya, this is the hole. It's two for me. JP is getting a little mad here. JP's hole from last week. Oh, buddy, come on. Get in there. Get in there, buddy. This is the most slushiest stuff I think I've ever been in. Yeah. Oh, there's a bite. Pull it. Man, that's a panfish spot. They bet in. I say just drill another hole right there. What is that? That's probably a gill, too. That's, a, that's one of those bass gill things. I don't know if that's even the right thing to say, but... Yeah, because the mouth is different. Look at that little guy right there. Ooh. Same hole. That's the hole we've been getting him out of. After a week in the 40s, it's going to get you. Yeah. What? You got one? Oh, I got one, yeah. Little gill right there, buddy. Look at that. Um, I'll I'll do that. Where you what? Did you fall in? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. I say we go right here. Take it. Take it. Because I, sometimes I don't set it correctly. That, uh, that's how you do it. Yeah. Look at that butte. Little. Yeah. yeah. There we, there we go. Get him! <laughs> Get him! 
Should I try? <laughs> oh, you done, bro. Oh, there we go, buddy. Nice. Yeah, that's where we catching the good ones. So far, we've been catching dinks over here, but hey, the numbers. Look at that. Please, please just cut that. All right, guys, we're doing a tournament here. You want to? Tournament? Yeah. It's it's six all. Come on, give me a bite now. Give me a bite. Man, it's a chilly one. That's what you get when you don't bring your gloves. <laughs> Why is it messing with me? Yeah. Can't get the proper bluegill hook set. Jay, what's the... Jay, what's the... <laughs> what? Jay got a decent one. I No, I missed mine like four times. Yeah. Oh, I got a bite. No way. Oh. I set the hook like I did a bass on a frog. Jay's got a bite. And he missed it. Jay's. Oh! 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 This side of this thing is. Jay! Look at that. That's a real bluegill, too. Look at that baby and the Swedish pimple. Swedish. Uh, little guy. It's been out here for what? What did you say? 20 minutes? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Managed to get, uh, I think, around six or seven per person. You know, some nice, some nice gills. Please caught the good one, but man, spots have changed. We were like right over, over there, that area, and now we're just hitting them up all right around here. So, snagged on the ice. And he's just snagged on the ice. And Cleese has a bite. Let's see if we can get get a little bit. He's got a way. Yeah, she, she got a little bit of a homemade ride thing here going on. Right there. The bites are bites are like they brutal. They shake the whole ride. Brutal. Oh. I need to get his bite. I haven't had one in what seems like days. Oh. Decent. Hey, I, I had that big one, so it counts as two points. So I'm at four. Yeah. I'm at 14 right now. Bigger bait. Please on the homemade rod with the decent sized bait and fell. A little, little bluegill. Take it out. <laughs> you take it out. <laughs> There we go. Oh, look how small this guy is. <laughs> yeah, that, you got the smallest. That's like a bass bluegill, isn't it? Yeah, that's two points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 slush everywhere. Boom, he's on. He was on all the way. Oh, that's two points. Two points. Oh, I had one on. <laughs> I didn't even know. That's 11. Buddy, ten. He knows it. Jay with another fish. I mean, not as big as Mason, but that's chunk for the pond. <laughs> Look how fat this baby is. Look how fat he is. <laughs> oh, it's a. Look at that. That's a prime eater. It's a pregnant one. Honestly, I'd have to say that might have been one of the oddest times going ice fishing one of the craziest times weather wise because i mean it's full of just slush and water but managed to get at least 40 something bluegill and uh didn't get anything on the tip up switch for bass which is what we were sort of hoping for but hey anytime on the water is good um managed to get on that decent bite and not keepers but got a couple decent ones thanks for watching the hank fishing show Hope to see you next time. More content coming out soon. So keep on watching. Thanks. Buddy, you ain't getting in there.